Welcome back to Think Alive. A lot of you have been asking us, have we moved in yet? When are we moving in? So today's video, we're gonna give you a progress update. What we've been doing, what we've got to do before we can move in, but when we hope to do so. Hi, we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to Think Alive. In 2019, we bought a derelict finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building was an empty shell with no main services, water, electric or sewage, and we're restoring it, doing all the work ourselves, with the view to giving us an off-grid, debt-free home. In addition to this, self-sufficiency is very important to us, so we're going to aim to produce as much of our own food as possible. And the idea behind these videos is to log our progress but also to provide you with something you hopefully find interesting and informative. Please join us on our journey. The original plan was to complete the apartment so that we could move into that and give us more time to work on the rest of the house. However, it's becoming pretty exhausting to be honest. We have an hour's journey here in the morning, we do a full day's work, we have an hour's journey back and then of course we've got all the usual jobs to do down there. So we've changed our plan slightly and we're going to get the bedroom finished so that we've got a nice bathroom, a nice clean bedroom to sleep in at night. And with regards to the kitchen, this time of year we'll be outside most of the time. We've got a barbecue, we're going to make the courtyard a, a bit nicer so we can sit out there in the evenings. And downstairs in the utility we'll have a bit of a camping situation going on, a temporary kitchen. Um, we'll put a fridge freezer, washing machine in and a little cooker um, just so that we can get moved in because of course it's costing us rent as well where we are at the moment and that's money we don't need to be spending. So that's our plan. Starting with the bedroom then, um, the ceiling is nearly done, I should get that finished today. Um, the next job will be to oil the beams, get all the messy stuff out of the way before Andy lays our floor. Um, so the walls have got to be painted yet and the pipe work um, that for the water and the electrics has got to be um, boxed in. Andy's going to build a wardrobe um, and then we can get the floor down and get the beds in. Here we are in the courtyard. Um, this structure here, what's left of it, we're probably going to take that down put a railway sleeper in, put a new roof on it and that will be our barbecue area. Um, original plan was to deck all of the ground here but it's going to cost an awful lot of money and at the moment um, we've got so much other things to spend our money on so we've decided we're just going to clear it all and he's going to do some more strimming today and um, put some gravel down and then just put some nice outdoor furniture and this will be our kitchen living dining room for the summer and um, we don't need to worry about getting the upstairs completed till at least November when it starts to get cold at night. We're here in the utility room now um, so as I said we're going to make this very temporary just so that we can move in um, we're going to put an old sink in here so that we've got somewhere to do our dishes um, washing machine here and the fridge freezer there We've already put a downstairs loo in, uh, we need to build the walls, but um, that'll do us really. As I say, we'll be living outside most of the time. Um, as well as showing you the restoration, we're also going to be showing what we do on a daily basis. After all, it is called Finca Life and there's much more to living here than just simply renovating the property. Like the land, the veg um, and a myriad of other things. Also in future videos we're going to be sharing with you the whole buying process um, including um, taxes, uh, fees, um, getting planning permission. All the other costs. <laughs> all the other costs involved. It's quite a minefield. And the, and the legalities, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if that's something that's going to be interesting to you, subscribe now so that you don't forget. Click on the bell to get notifications of all our videos. Um, basically we've got our, our pump that's down the deposit plugged in. We're filling up the water tank. Um, we've, we've taken about 1500 litres out of it, so we like to replace it as we go because water is so scarce on there, so while we've got it, we like to keep it. Taps on to on, diverted to the house, all the pipe works in place, all we've got to do is plug it in. This hose pipe is here because we're going to fill up the, 
the deposits up the up the land as well for watering the plants. So we're inside and the water comes in, that valve's open, that pipe runs to the deposit, the water comes in through this filter. As you can see the water coming in here is fairly clean out of there. Um, it's collecting a little bit. The big ring round it is from a previous filter that I just changed and I was too lazy to clean that off. Um, but that's so far pumped about oh, 500 litres and there's hardly any sediment coming out of it at all. And in through that pipe down there. And um, you can see the level. Each of those marks is a thousand litres. The top one's seven thousand. Um, we're just coming up to the six thousand litre mark now. So the tank's full, there's seven thousand litres in it. Um, if you look at the filter, it's, we've pumped 1,500 litres into the tank. Um, it's pretty clean, it's collected some sediment, doing its job, but all in all, not too bad. So I'm back at the hole um, where we're going to send the water up the land. Plug the hose pipe in, open the valve for the hose pipe, close the valve to the house. We haven't switched the pump off and that will now pump it up to the land. So you'll have to excuse our professionalism once again. Um, I forgot to turn the microphone on. As you can see, water's coming out and um, being pumped up from the deposit. These containers we've got are temporary. Um, we're we're wait, waiting for some couple of thousand litre IBCs that we're going to use. Um, and the beauty of the solar is it, it can, we can pump all day with it straight without it coming off the batteries at all. Um, the thing about solar is you either use it or lose it. Also today I'm going to be dragging a bit more of this soil down where our chickens, our hens are going to go. Um, all good fun, joy of joys, eh? task of strimming the land. And Sharon spent most of the day painting the bedroom ceiling. painting the ceiling we just thought we'd show you how good this stuff is we've got a, a big crack there and um, basically they just disappear So Sharon's cracking on with painting the ceiling, still as you've seen. Um, she's run out of paint so we're going to mix some more. And I thought this would take this opportunity, so I'm going to mix up some another lime wash and then show you how we actually make the, the original lime putty that we make the wash from. As you couldn't quite see it on the original video you can see the consistency of it there now it's like thick I hope that you can this time um, right now I'm going to show you how to make the putty I was going to toddle off with that and crack on with the painting so we're doing it outside because the dust off it is horrendous and um, if you do it inside make sure you wear a mask because it really is unpleasant we're just going to literally 
dump the lime in our tub here. With one. And two. All we do now is fill it up with water. So we brought it in before we fill it up because it's going to be too heavy to move. And all you do is just add the water. We're going to do it five litres at a time. It's a 50 litre bucket, so we expect it to take somewhere around 50 litres because the, the lime just absorbs into the water. So there's five. <coughs> Ten, we'll keep adding it and um, come back to you shortly as it takes a while for it to run down and, and be absorbed by the lime. So far, um, there's 40 litres gone in there. It's still bubbling away. I've got 10 litres left to go in. Um, the reason you make it like this, I need to add as well, um, to make the lime wash, is that the lime actually absorbs um, well, all the water. So when you come to mix it, it's that you get a nice smooth, like, liquid um, if you just try and mix lime the powder with water you can't get it as smooth and the depth and consistency is just not not as good as doing it this way um, we'll probably well we'll leave this certainly for two or three months while we use the other pot we've got and um, before we then before we use it ideally and the longer the better I think the original stuff's about a year old so while the lime's settling, um, what else do we do? These are our tomatoes we grew from seeds in the winter, um, in little pots. We actually started them off in seed trays, potted them onto these. They're now getting quite large um, for these pots, so we're potting them on into even bigger pots. We've got a few in the ground, um, but we've no room for any more to be honest. There's about, um, uh, I think there's 10 in the ground up, up on the land. Um, but we don't want to get rid of these, we want to keep them, so we may as well pot them on. If we, can, if we lose any in the garden, then we can replace them. We can give them to friends. Um, you know, they're there for now, so you know, we're going to look after them. We've also planted out the basil and the parsley. You can see here, very tiny, but we'll give you an update on them when we do our end of May update. And we're up in the apartment now. We're going to see how Sharon's getting on with the, the endless ceiling. <laughs> how are you getting on, sweetie? Yeah, the last quarter to do, maybe. Fantastic. <laughs> Hopefully, in a two or three hours, we'll be able to show you the finished result. We're back outside. It's a beautiful day. We've got sparrows nesting up here. None of them going to show themselves. They were here last year as well. Um, we also get um, swallows flying around the workshop when uh, the big doors are open. No, no one there at the minute.
So back at the lime putty, um, it's still got 40 litres, it's not soaking in so much now. So what we'll do, leave it a couple of days and it, I'm pretty sure it will absorb. We'll show you that when it does. Nextly, um, this isn't a chimney, it's the vent pipe for our extraction system for the two bathrooms for the downstairs loo and the, the apartment bathroom. Um, they're both linked together, both extract there. It's an open pipe at the minute. Um, I've had a thought, we may get, so I don't know, various animals and things nesting, moving in there, living in it, which is not what we want. So I'm going to put some netting over it. So the best, cheapest thing we can find from the Chinese market um, is a stainless steel sieve. Um, this is the pipe, the actual same size of pipe that we want to fill. So, we're just going to take our aviation snips out, trap my finger in them, and hopefully cut this to the roughly where we want it and it'll slot inside the pipe. It's only about a euro these sieves, <laughs> so they'll stop mosquitoes, they'll stop flies, they'll stop ants, stop everything. Absolutely perfect, bargain. And nearly there. Okay. Lovely. That's the same size of pipe. You can see, and we're just gonna on the actual pipe outside. We'll just get it roughly to shape now where we want it. Put a little nick in there. Look at that. Perfect, that'll do the job. We'll sort it in, bend the edges over. Happy days. If you can see that there, let's go and do it. So I brought you up the ladder with me. There's the roof. Um, this is where we're going to put it, on this pipe here. I couldn't do it one-handed, but hopefully you can see. See that in there now? Probably a bit bright. But there we go, it's done anyway. Another job done. So, all in a day's work, my next challenge, I give myself, I give myself these challenges, I'm going to make a light for the bedroom ceiling. And I'm going to make it out of that a piece of wood. It's an old piece of wood we've found. It's got a bit of a live edge on one side. It's quite interesting. Um, so the first thing to do, I reckon, is to clean it up and see what we've got underneath. So I've got a bowl of hot soapy water from our solar hot water system. Obviously I had to add the soap myself. I've got a scrubbing brush. Um, let's get all the crap off it first and see what it looks like. That's pretty nice. Um, oof, don't know if I need much sand, and I probably will give it a bit of a sand um, just to smooth it off. But we'll let it dry first uh, and see what we've got. It's got a nice live edge on it there. Um, interesting, different kind of light. While this is drying, um, I'm going to discuss what I want to do with it. Um, the idea is um, to put two of the sunken lights like we've got in the bathroom and in the hallway into it so it hangs up okay this mirror image on this thing is not easy so it hangs up in the ceiling with the lights underneath pointing down 
Um, I've got some chain, some black chain and hooks um, that I'm going to put uh, that up to the ceiling. Maybe two, I'm not sure yet. The problem I can envisage immediately is when it's in, is getting it to hang level laterally like that. Um, because the bore's uneven, it's hard to measure the, the centre for the weight. Um, so what I'll probably do is just stick a couple of hooks in randomly because you're not going to see the back of it anyway and try it and then just adjust them accordingly until it hangs level but obviously I need to have the lights um, fitted in it first to get the balance right um, so yes we plan any suggestions drop them in the comments below <laughs> I've never done never made a light out of an old piece of live edge timber before yeah, I think it'll look pretty cool though. Okay, it's nearly dry. Um, I'm not the most patient person in the world. Um, it's that orbital sander, 80 grit paper. Um, runs directly off the panels, remember solar. If you use it or lose it, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> sanded it down and um, we're pretty happy with that we'll go and make some holes in it we're going to be putting this sort of fitting in it the same as we've got in the other lights and upstairs um, so that will sort of sit in there like that um, we've measured across there across the two connectors it's 60 mil the whole thing is 90 mil wide so we're going to use a 75 mil hole cutter we've got a selection here um i think that one's 75 yes it is um, so we're going to try and work out the center we'll measure across roughly to get them sort of looking aesthetically pleasing we'll worry about the balance after um, and get these holes cut we're going to stick them in the press drill if anyone's used hole cutters before, um, you need, you, if you get an arbor, which is one of these things, selection of hole cutters, um, they all fit on the same, you just twist them on, screw the little, line the holes up for the, for the locking pins, he says, easier said than done and just screw them through that's it job done that goes in your drill bob's your uncle so eventually <laughs> we've got the holes done and um, you can see them there and these just pop in like that and um, there we go and the little light fits in there and you can even rotate them lovely Um, right, so now we're going to um, mess, have a mess about with it and see if we can get it to balance and hang the way we want it to. Well, that wasn't too painful. Um, that's sort of hanging pretty, pretty good, I think. Pretty acceptable anyway. Um, all we've done is put two hooks in the back. Put, the other hook in. put two hooks in the back. One there and one there. We actually had to remove this one over uh, five mil or so. So not a bad guess at all, to be honest. And um, we can always make minor adjustments by moving them laterally, the hooks laterally, um, should it not be right in the future. So very, very happy with that. Um, it's looking good already, isn't it? <laughs> um, what's next? Um, like it's, it's pretty much done actually just needs a coat of oil i'm actually going to leave it there today um, because i want to be sure that it is totally totally dry because we give it a good soaking before and um, before we put any oil on it so to be continued so the bulk of the ceiling is finished we've just got this bit up there to do and we're not sure what to do with that area might make a nice sleeping loft or something um, but we're making progress, it's been a bit of a slog, 
for his gun. <laughs> so that's all for today, folks. Um, we hope you enjoyed spending a day with us. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.